just got to one of our favorite places in the entire world, Positano, Italy. And we actually had our honeymoon here, and we are at a hotel that has been high on Colette's bucket list for many years. We just walked into one of the best hotels in the entire world. What is it? Le Serenus. Le Serenus. Now, this is probably the best hotel to stay at while you're in Positano. It has the best views, it is in the best location, and it has some of the best restaurants. <laughs> and now we got really lucky because Colette has been watching the availability of this hotel, and because Italy just opened up- Colette has been stalking the availability. Because yeah. I'd find you. <laughs> yeah. We basically got it for almost more than 50% off. So that's how we were able to make it into this very elite hotel. So because this is so special, we wanna show you guys around this amazing place. And first thing, let's take a look at the room. Welcome to room 65 at La Cyrenix. Let's show you around. First off, let's try the bathroom, right over here. We have our massive shower, which we obviously just used. We have a toilet and a bidet because we are in Europe. Ta-da! Okay, let's show you the rest of the room. So now let's show you to the masterpiece, the bedroom. So we have a massive king-size bed that is super comfy, plenty of room, and we have a closet on this side filled with all things and on the other side we have another looks like a closet but it is our mini fridge and safe and a little extra storage area for your things okay let's go to my favorite part of the room the view now the view from La Cyrenus is unparalleled in Positano. I mean, you have the mountains, you have just the sprinkles of those typical Positano houses along the Amalfi Coast, and of course, you have the Tyrrhenian Sea. Sirenius first opened its doors in 1951, when four siblings from Naples decided to turn their summer home into a boutique hotel. The hotel first opened with only eight rooms, but over the years it has expanded to a total of 58, but has still continued to have that small family-run feeling. La Sirenius embodies the simple pleasures of Positano. Family, food, seaside simplicity, and storytelling. The famous American author, John Steinbeck, who once visited La Serenus in 1953 for Harper's Bazaar, once said, Positano bites deep. It is a dream place that isn't quite real when you are there and becomes beckoningly real after you have gone. Besides the beautiful sunshine, the great weather, and the breathtaking views, the other thing that's great about La Serenus is all the complimentary activities that are included with your stay. There are boat tours, cocktail mixing, 
wine tasting classes, and more, all included in your stay. So it is our first day in Positano, and we are about to do something very special. We're gonna board the private Serenus yacht to go on a little tour, a casual tour around Positano by water. Now, the amazing thing about this is it is included in our stay. Now, when you check in, you're gonna receive a menu of activities for the week, everything from boating to olive oil tastings and tastings with sommeliers, anything you want. It's all included when you stay at Sierra Nus. Let's go. everyone today we are living our best lives and we got breakfast delivered to our rooms we have cappuccinos and espressos and eggs and the best part is we get this view over the Serenus and Positano and we never had to leave the comfort of our robes rented a car from Positano Dream Cars. Now these are vintage Fiats and they are so beautiful. We rented a mint green vintage Fiat, but you can also rent Vespas and other cars. I'm so excited. I feel like I've transported back in time to the days of La Dolce Vita here in Positano and I'm so excited to go drive around. Okay, so there are some very iconic photos that people have done with this and actually we are working with a local photographer to do the same exact thing. Now, if you wanna do this, you can do it as well. We'll put some links for you to check it out. But uh, this thing is adorable, it's cute. It is, uh, what year is this? How old, the car? 1963 Fiat convertible mint green but yeah let's go do it in there or yeah if it'll fit mm -hmm. oh wow mm -hmm. let's see. will it fit no, yeah no luggage no car <laughs> that should be fine no uh no, no. it's okay no no for me it's okay oh, okay <laughs> There's the frunk, and the only thing it fits is uh, is my camera backpack. This is the final stop of our little photo shoot, and it is a fruit stand on the towards Amalfi, so past Positano. And uh, we are being polite, and if you do come here, give this guy, give this guy a little tip. Uh, don't just come here and take photos and leave. I mean, this guy makes money, either buy some fruit or give him a tip, whatever it might be. But uh, we heard he's a little grumpy, so maybe, maybe a few year olds will make him smile. This place is beautiful, overlooking the cliff, and uh, unfortunately, it's a little crowded. Okay. For me? Yes, for you. I want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you cry? One. Ooh, that looks Yo, so good. 
Oh, grazie. Hey, we'll let you buy you some of that. This is uh, strawberry, orange. Is there any lemon or just strawberry and orange? Strawberry, no, uh, strawberry orange, yeah. Strawberry, strawberry and orange juice, oh, freshly made. You can see him making it behind us. Cool. Wow. Like Clit says, that's fresh. Busy today? Fresh. No, it's not. So we haven't had the best weather in Positano and we tried to go to Franco's bar last night, but the weather didn't cooperate because it's an outdoor bar. So tonight is our last night and we're gonna try to attempt again to go to Franco's bar. So while well, La Serenus is not the biggest hotel, it still has three amazing bars for you to choose from. It has Franco's, Aldo's, and the Don't Worry Bar. Now, Aldo's, this is the intimate romantic. It is a champagne and oyster bar. Talk about posh, talk about bougie, but it is amazing. Now, the other two bars, the Don't Worry Bar, this is the original hotel bar. And then Franco's, now this is the place to be seen. It is a Positano street side cocktail bar. This is where things get turned up. I mean, you might even see some celebrities here, but this is the place to go late night. Thank you. We've tried to come so many nights. And the rain. <laughs> How excited are you? I am tourist level excited that we finally made it here. You see behind me, we may not have much time because it looks like it might rain again, but it might not. It's our last night, so I asked the clouds to hold off for just one cocktail. Okay guys, so Franco's this is the happening bar. You should come here for an aperitivo before dinner, a nice little cocktail and some snacks. Or after dinner, this is the happening place. This is where all the posh and happening people come. But this is probably one of the best bars, has the best views. There's nothing obstructing your view of beautiful Positano Hills. But I am gonna warn you, you gotta pay for this view. Minimum spend on a cocktail is probably around $20. So probably just get one and then head out. So the best fact about Franco's Bar is you do not have to be a guest at La Sierra Nuce to get a drink here. You can simply walk up. There are no reservations needed and there are actually no reservations taken. Now this bar is open May to October and the bar is actually an ode to one of the four siblings that opened La Sierra Nuce, Don Franco. made it to the beach club that is kind of a partnership with the Serenus. And as part of the hotel stay, we get two front row chairs right on the ocean front. Actually, it's, it's sea, right? It's the Trinian Sea? Yes, it is the sea. But uh, we finally made it down here. It's our last day and it's time for some R&R. &R. It's time to go swimming. Let me get some sun rays. Do it. Yeah, you know, we've been battling weather all week and today it's finally sunny, so we decided to hit the beach. <laughs> One thing to know about the beach here, it's not like in California. It's a little rocky, so uh, you want to bring some shoes. It's also a darker uh, rock, so it's going to get a lot hotter than the white sand beaches that a lot of you might be accustomed to in California or the Caribbean.